Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the basics of construction. Um, I own a dock construction company, so uh, I'll kind of show you that and just basics of framing. All right, guys, I'm leaving a dock that I uh, have my, my pontoon boat and my little work um, platform tied up to. And this is a dock that I am just finishing up. It's been a long time. I just wanted to show you kind of what the end result is on the average boat house on, on Lake Aspen. Hey guys, I'm here at the boat house I'm building um, currently. I'm framing up the upper deck on it. Uh, this boat house is just a single boat house, single slip. Um, with a small six foot pier on the side and a upper deck that's going to be roughly 11 and a half foot by 32 foot um, so i'm just working up here i just put this these uh two by 12s up this beam and i'll kind of show you the construction um, method i'm using on the uh, bottom deck and on the top deck because it's two different construction methods here on the bottom deck I have uh, the decking already on that's not nailed on the end because I'm, I want to straighten that up and cut it up, cut that end off before I um, nail it. Um, but you can kind of see here in the slip that I have uh, what are called girders that are um, supporting the joists. Um, and these girders are bolted to the poles. There's another one. Um, they're bolted to the poles and the joists just sit directly on top. Um, directly on top of the girders. And they provide the support that uh, the deck needs. Um, this is just a cap board on the end of a joist, a rim, rim joist. Um, so you can see the joists are right there. These are 2 by 8 joists and 2 by 8 girders for this particular boat. So home. here on the... Uh, where the walkway is going to be tied in, there's the shore, and we have to tie the boathouse in. Um, you can see that the joists are sitting on top of the girders. So, the joists are sitting on top of the girders, and the girders are just nailed up there, tacked up there with um, galvanized nails, a ring shank, and they are bolted through with two five eighths inch bolts. And these are joists that are hanging off the end um, that we're gonna tie into for the walkway going to the shore. With this boat house um, up here up top on my scaffolding, I've got two by eight joists on the top as well, um, but they're sitting on two by 12 beams, uh, double two by 12 beams, and they will be through bolted also but they are actually notched um i'll try and get a better view on this side they are actually notched uh, into the post and they'll be through bolted as well um, and then this two by four is what's called a ledger board um, this is kind of an old way of uh, doing things i had extra two by fours um, that i use for bracing here on the dock. You can see I use quite a lot of them, so um, I just like to recycle them instead of cutting them up and throwing them away or using them on a different project and having to move them. Um, I like to use them as a ledger board. So you have the beam, you have the joist, and the decking is just going to sit on top of the joist. Uh, one thing that a lot of people don't do is the beam is not going to uh, shrink as much as the joist will um, because it's a more substantial amount of wood so I like to leave just a that's about a quarter of an inch um, where the joist is sticking up from the beam and that's the same uh, all the way across the beam and the decking boards will just go right across there um, without any trouble that will keep it from having a bump where these beams are. Um, you can also use hangers 
instead of a ledger board. Uh, but like I say, um, I kind of like to use these leftover pieces uh, just because I wouldn't use them. Uh, or I would have to move them to use them again. Um, so there you go. And here on the outside, um, you can see that I don't have a joist here. What I'm going to do is put a two by 12, uh, kind of like a rim joist around the outside and then the decking will come on top of that. And this is just an inexpensive boathouse. So we're not doing a skirt board or anything fancy. Um, it's just gonna, the decking is just gonna overhang, have a small reveal or be flush and just have a railing on top. Uh, the stairway will be um, coming up kind of the deck area uh, and turn into the the upper deck and that's kind of your view from the top of the boathouse. So I hope this helps y'all. Um, if you are building a deck this applies to uh, you as well. You can build it either with the uh, girders with joists sitting on top or with a ledger board or hangers the same way I'm doing the upper deck. Um, I'm just trying to, the reason I'm using that construction method on the upper deck is to give the boat more room when you lift it on the boathouse. Um, so if, if room is an issue where you're building a deck, you want storage under your deck or uh, anything like that, um, you can use the method that I'm using on the top with the beams and uh, ledgers or hangers. But if it's not an issue, I believe that the uh, girder method is a lot stronger and stiffer. If you would, subscribe. Give me a like if you like the video. If you have any questions, give me a comment. Thank you.